excuse my messy hair. I was just driving the spider. Um, the trucker texted me. He said, I'm 30 minutes away. I live 30 minutes away from where I was, so obviously immediately got in the car and booked it here, but that's okay. We, uh, we're gonna make it. Here it is. I am so excited for this thing. Here we go, look at that thing. Now of course my garbage truck is coming. That's okay though, we'll make it work. We always make it work. Look at this thing, oh my god! It's huge! That's okay, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. We got a lot going on here. We got a garbage truck thing. We got an airplane up there, but um... They made it work. I said, don't be afraid to go on the mulch. I'm not one of those people who care about stuff like that. So, I'll rake that out later, I guess. But look at this thing. My God, I didn't think it was this big. I've seen other 18-wheelers come in my neighborhood, so like I knew something of this size would fit, but it's definitely bigger than I thought it would be. I'll, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> the lady in the garbage truck goes, uh, what do you got in there? I go, I bought a car. She goes, every time I come here, you always have something new. I said, good memory. Good memory. Looks like we got a Hyundai Veloster Turbo. I don't know anything about those cars, but I like what Hyundai did with the concept car. That thing is sick. I don't think it'll come out personally, but hope it does. That would be really cool. Uh, I feel like Hyundai just like put themselves on the car map. Oh, no wonder why that thing got shit. <laughs> uh, that thing barely started up. That's okay. You know what? I can't. I can't talk because my car doesn't even have an engine. There it is. You can kind of see it. You know what it is at this point. Oh man, am I excited for this one? I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what the game plan is for this car. Um, I have an S54 swap in mind. It's probably like the front runner, but different things might happen. I don't know. Let's check it out. I think he's winching it off. I think that's what he's doing, so it doesn't just go flying out. <laughs> Here it is, 1988 E30 M3. It's just a roller, obviously. No engine, no transmission. It needs a lot of work. It's not rusty, though. That's the, that's the main reason why it's here. <laughs> oh, boy. This is crazy. I've seen so many pictures of it. But here it finally is. I don't even know what to say right now. I had to put the camera down for a little while. Um, the mailman came and then we were blocking the street. My garage barrels, but uh, here it is, in the flesh. I do not have a truck to put it on my driveway right now, so it's gonna have to sit here on the street for a quick minute, only until a couple more hours. But anyways, here it is. You know, I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. Uh, the pictures made it look a little bit better than what it was, not by much though. Um, the only thing that is concerning me is like parts are really hard to find for this car so like something like this and like this pace down here it's funny it smells like my e36 m3 which is like kind of funny but um i bought a bumper off him he gave me a dash and um this is kind of moving a little bit so we're gonna have to figure that out nothing too crazy though honestly um a little bit of rust right here or if this just got damaged over time I can't really tell but there really isn't like any like major rust on this car which is like the whole reason why I bought it um, you do not want a rusty shell as I said like you know a little bit right here uh, nothing like when you when we repaint the car or whatever this is gonna be you know, just kind of normal uh, this car was turbocharged at one point in its life as you can see they cut out the bumper to fit an intercooler not too sure where to start if I'm gonna be like completely honest with everyone. Um, I'm, I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find like a crashed E46 M3 because as I said S54 swap kind of makes the most sense for this car or an S52 which comes from the E36 M3. So if I can find one of those, that would be kind of cool. 
it's funny. I remember you could buy E36 M3s for like five grand. That's how much mine was. <laughs> Would be really nice if I could buy one for five grand and toss everything in here. Okay, I just got home from dinner. My dad is home with this truck. <laughs> um, we're gonna try to push it in here, or I should say tow it in here now. See, we got the lift down, everything. We got, we got the rope and everything. My dad and I pushed the car back, and I was like, you know, dad, we need some light. So what did I do? You guys are gonna love this. Sorry I'm out of breath, I just pushed it. These little, these little things are so crazy. And if you click it again, oh, I thought it flashes, but there it is. Something like that. Yeah, there we go. See how it flashes out? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we're gonna tow it up. We're gonna hook it up now. I'll try to get this on video, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got this hooked up, and now we're going to go up the driveway, I suppose. Now the thing is, the emergency brake works, but no brakes, but the steering works, so it's enough to get us up there. And then we're gonna put it on the lift. So we pulled it up the driveway. <laughs> that worked out pretty good. We didn't really know what to expect, just because the driveway isn't super long right here. So, gotta keep in mind, it becomes a hill over here. And so, uh, we wanna get as far forward as we could so we can push it back there. The good news is the car is really light, obviously. So, you know, it won't be too hard to push into it. Okay, now we're fighting gravity. That's what we're doing. Got to get it on the lift. I'm sorry I had to put the camera down. We needed three sets of hands, but here it is. <laughs> so now it's going to sit here until we can get parts. Well, this lift is one of the better things I've bought in life. I'll tell you that much. Put the BMW flag up. Had to put the Audi flag over there. I mean, I have two BMWs now, and I want to take some nice pictures, so it was only right to put the BMW flag there. But here it is. Safe and sound. That, that was tough. And now it's time to put it up. <laughs> I love watching it go up. We'll take a look underneath too when it's all up in the air. Once it's all done, you want to make sure all these are on your desired notch. Um, and then the car is all good to go. So check. And then we're gonna go over here. Check the other two, check, and check. Okay, let's take a look underneath this car. Yeah, this guy wasn't lying when he said it's been sitting since uh, 2017. Uh, I don't know what differential this is. I don't know if that's a regular E30 M3 differential. Uh, not bad. Okay, now let's move these the other way. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Really not bad. Um, you can't be too picky when it comes to a car that is, uh, you know, hold on, let's get this camera on me. You can't be that picky when it comes to a car that's this old and it's got 160,000 miles. Um, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna bring this car back to like, like if you wanna go crazy, you can make this car brand, brand new. Uh, not really the route I wanna go down. I wanna keep it kind of a, um, a cheaper E30 M3, I guess. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna fix everything that needs to be fixed. Obviously, um, I don't know what color I'm gonna do yet. So the, the body shop I go to, he's a friend of mine. He's like Alec. I'm I'm not repainting it. If uh, you want to do a different color, you're gonna have to find someone else. That's you know too big a project for me right now. Totally get that. And the original game plan was to keep it um, the color that the car is because there is like a look I'm going for. Let me show you right now. Actually, while I'm looking for it. Um, this really isn't in that bad of shape. Um, I really have to start ordering parts though. These parts are gonna take forever to find. But let me show you what the look I'm going for is. Let's, I got a picture somewhere, stay tight. Okay, here it is, ready? Let's see if it focuses. That's the look I'm going for. Um, that's the same color as my car, or it might be a different shade, but you know what, you get the point I'm trying to make. So, um, Hope you enjoyed today's video. I don't know if it was sloppy or not. This is probably like my first vlog, real vlog. Uh, any fair criticism, let me know. I think I know what I need to work on, but uh, any other criticism, you know, not scared to, not scared to hear it. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching. 
If you got any suggestions, uh, ideas for this car, I'm super excited to hear them. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.